Hey everybody, my name is Lacey and I am here with a quick review of General's Charcoal Pencils. I have been using these pencils for years and I recommend them highly to my students, so I wanted to make this video to go over why that is, why I recommend them above other brands, and give some information about what at least I recommend to my students in terms of which pencils they buy. So to begin with, what I have here is I have General's pencils in 2B, HB, and white. So these are the charcoal pencils as opposed to their graphite pencils, as opposed to Wolf's Carbon, and also as opposed to their Primo pencils. If you wanna see me review those in another video, let me know in the comments below. But for now, this is what we're looking at. This is standard what I use in all of my classes. It's most of the time what I'm using whenever I'm doing a portrait drawing or a figure drawing. So these are my go-to materials for charcoal drawing. The reason that I like to choose these over any other brand is that there's something about the binder that it remains more powdery and it doesn't become sticky. Some other brands seem to have a binder that gets sticky, so when you're trying to layer, it actually becomes more and more difficult over time to add more charcoal on the top. Things can almost get a little bit blotchy because some areas the charcoal is kind of sticking to itself and other areas it's not. And then it also becomes really, really difficult to erase because everything is kind of stuck together. So these, whatever binder they're using, it's working for me and it stays nice and powdery. I can layer it over and over again. I've never had it get sticky on me, so that's why I like it. I've seen students come in with other brands and sometimes they get sticky and they get to a point on their drawing that they can't make corrections, they can't change the values, and they either need to live with that or start over. Uh, General's Charcoal makes, I believe, HB, 2B, 4B, and 6B in their pencils in addition to the white, but I recommend that my students just stick with the HB and the 2B. My reasoning for that is that those softer pencils, the 4B and the 6B, they tend to be more difficult to sharpen. Uh, if you know my pencil sharpener reviews, I like to use an electric sharpener, and those softer leads are, are more likely to break in a sharpener. Also, you have to sharpen them more often because they're softer, so the point wears down more quickly. And in my mind, if I'm going to use a soft charcoal like that, I may as well get a stick of charcoal because it's going to wear down anyway. I'm not gonna be able to keep a really, really sharp point on it for long, and then I don't have to worry about it breaking in an electric sharpener. I can always sharpen that bare stick of charcoal with some sandpaper, and that works for me, so that's what I choose to do. The 2B and the HB tend not to break as much when you're sharpening, and like double trouble if you're using a handheld sharpener or something like that. It, it tends to be a little bit easier sometimes to break those softer leads, so these work really well as does the white in a sharpener. So that's what I do. The hard pencil is a pencil that I use for nice, thin, sharp outlines. And it's also something that I use when I'm trying to make just a really subtle change. So if I'm doing a drawing on white paper and I'm using charcoal pencils, I'm gonna be using a lot of this hard HB pencil in the light areas and really, really, really light pressure in order to get really delicate transitions. I also be using this when I'm using both black and white and allowing them to mix together. I'll use this HB pencil to shade over the top of the white to just knock it back a little bit. So wherever I don't want that to be really bright, I want it to be a little gray, maybe like a half tone, the HB is gonna work really well. It's also gonna work really well for you if you tend to make things too dark. If you're a little bit heavy handed, using that harder pencil will physically put down less charcoal while you're working. So that's gonna help you be a little bit more delicate. Hey, really quick, if you are looking for some help figuring out how to create drawings with these General's pencils, I have a free five-day video course for you. It's the five-day drawing transformation challenge. You'll get an email every day for five days with a 30-minute lesson that will walk you through all the steps to creating a realistic charcoal drawing. Link in the comments below, check it out. The 2B pencil I use 
for most of my shading. So I tend to fill in my shadows with this 2B pencil. Um, it's the first coating there. I do it with backgrounds, all of that. So this is really my workhorse charcoal pencil for most of what I'm doing. Anything that's not gonna be delicate, 2B is where I go. And then of course the white pencil I use for highlights, but I also, when I'm using on a medium toned paper, so not a light toned paper, but something more kind of medium or a little on the dark side, I use more and more of this stuff to build up that form. I will temper it with the charcoal, just meaning that I allow the charcoal to mix together to create various grays, but I find that this white more so than any other white just mixes really well with the charcoal. It's nice and powdery and seamless. So that's what I use. I'm just gonna give a quick little demonstration here with some of these pencils so that you can see the difference. So here is a hard pencil and I'm just gonna draw this right across the paper here. And I'm using like medium pressure. So it's not really light, but I'm also not really pushing down. And you can see that that line stayed pretty consistent. It didn't get fatter, um, it didn't get thinner, it just kind of stayed the same the whole way. Now if I hold my hand back here and I do some hatching with it, you can see it's really nice and delicate. So it's not too overpowering. Okay, now let's try a medium. Here's my medium pencil. I'm going to do the same thing, medium pressure. Starting off really nice and thin, and it broke. Let me get this other one. Whoops, that one broke too. So medium pressure on these, not a great idea. <laughs> I'm usually using really light pressure when I draw, so I don't have a lot of experience pushing down on these medium pencils a lot, but partially because it broke, well, one of the ideas is with the medium pencil, that line is gonna get fatter. Just the end of this wears off faster than on the hard one. The hard one you can really get away, whoops. <laughs> the hard one you can really get away with pushing down and keeping a nice thin line. The medium one, not so much. Now let me do a little bit of shading with this as well. Get the rest of that point off. So you can see here, it's just a darker mark with that medium charcoal pencil. So if you're trying to get something really delicate, especially if you're not really, really uh, light handed, you know, if you use very, very little pressure on this, you can make it work. But for most people, that tends to be a little difficult. So that's why the harder stuff is for more delicate shading. The medium stuff is for most of the, the heavy shading. And that hard is also for nice thin outlines when you want a nice thin outline. So just for fun, here's what the white looks like. You can really layer it. And let's also get them mixed together a little bit so that you can see how they work when they mix. Okay, and I'm just using lighter and lighter pressure on this. And you can layer this multiple times too. Let me get just a little bit more of that in there. Layer on white again. Okay, so they mix together really, really nicely. That was with the medium. Now I just wanna show you what happens with the hard over the top of the white. So you can see that you can just really delicately tone that white down. Okay, one final note on all of this, 
Um, these pencils are difficult to erase. So if I come across the middle here, there's really minimal success with erasing that charcoal. You know, this one wasn't too bad where I didn't push into the paper. So I used a much lighter mark here. Here I pushed into the paper. There it is erasing better, but especially the medium one is not disappearing. So that medium one there is not disappearing. The hard almost disappeared, the medium one, no. Oh, let's try for the white. You know, the white didn't completely disappear, but it's pretty good. And then where we have it heavier, of course, more pressure into the paper makes it more difficult to erase. Now I say that in order to make the recommendation to you that you use something else to block in your drawings. If you have an aspect of your drawing that you wanna be able to erase easily, like making your first measurements and that kind of a thing, you should use a vine or a willow charcoal so that that erases really easily. Now, General's Charcoal, if you're listening, I want to give you just a couple of messages. One, there used to be a problem with some of your pencils that it's almost like there was a rock or something in the pencil and, and it just wouldn't draw, you know, like something happened in there. And I usually found one out of a box tended to be like that and wouldn't work and needed to be chucked. But I've noticed that that problem has been fixed. So that is awesome. Thank you so much. And to everybody out there, if you have noticed that problem, if you've had that problem, I encourage you to pick up some new General's Charcoal because it has been quite some time since I've had that problem. Every single pencil has been working just great. So thank you so much, General's. But it seems like General's has discontinued the extra hard pencils. I really miss them. I hope that they're brought back sometime. If you agree, please leave a comment below if you used to use those extra hard pencils and now you miss them. They're just really so nice for creating subtle transitions and having really sharp edges and sharp lines. So hopefully those will come back someday. In the meantime, thank you for hanging out with me and watching this review of General's Charcoal. Leave any questions or comments that you have below and I look forward to seeing you next time.